Welcome to Middle of Paradise with Sherry Hill Jackson. Happy Saturday morning, everyone. Our Middle of Paradise magazine is finally here and it's on the way out to you guys. It'll be coming in starting on Monday. Some people already have it, but as the mail goes, you'll get it Monday, Tuesday, some of you even Wednesday, but it's on its way. And guess what? We have Middle of Paradise t-shirts, as you can see. So the person that buys one of the magazines and has the largest contribution to rebuilding Liberty Hall in Limon, as we talked about before, is gonna get a free t-shirt. Anyway, let's talk about what's in the magazine. This is our magazine rollout. This is the beauty, it's all color. Every page is fully colored. So the cover and the, even the table of contents is in color and it tells you what you're going to learn. On um, our Welcome to Limon Costa Rica page, it talks about what's in the magazine and your choice to invest in Limon Costa Rica. It was a great choice for me and I'm loving it and I'm gonna have a great time and make some money. The next page we have is refreshing. This talks about the cuisine. Now, I don't know if you guys have been to the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, but the food is wonderful. Everything's fresh and I'm a seafood person, so the fish is just delicious. The other side of this page talks about recreation. There's so much to do. If you're the type of person that's adventurous and likes to do the zip lining, that's not for me, but if that's for you, that's one of the many things that you can do besides surfing, which is what a lot of people do there. Our next page, oh, this is like the rest and relaxation. Don't you just want to get a couple of those drinks and jump into this pool? It is so great when I get down there because I get to rest and relax all the time. And of course, you guys know that's great for your health. Our next page turns the corner a little bit and talks about having a life in Limon, Costa Rica. Those that may be considering what it's like to live here as opposed to just visiting every once in a while. And this little column over here talks about retirement. Some people are deciding to retire in Costa Rica. The next spread is beyond travel and tourism. Are you tired of traveling all the time? Do you wanna have a second home? Most wealthy people, as I've stated before in several of my videos, have at least one other home on a, in a different country than their home country. So we talk about that in this article. Next one. This one is the center page and it tells you all the great things that are going on in Limon province, Costa Rica. Whatever you hear on the internet, don't pay attention to it. Believe me, there's crime and there's things like that everywhere, but this place is booming. You want to be in the middle of paradise now before the prices get sky high and you'll be able to have lots of opportunities to have real estate, income and start businesses. Our next spread, I think this this picture is so beautiful, but it talks about the pros and cons of being an expat, an expat, someone who has a home in another place other than their home country. So this beautiful article talks about that, the pros and cons or the do's and don'ts. Next article talks about home ownership, which is what we are, the ones that have purchased already. We're going to have homes in there and there's different things that we can do, but there are also rules and regulations that you have to follow if you're going to be a homeowner. Okay, our next spread talks about specifically shipping container homes. It talks about all the great things about having a shipping container home. I talk to people maybe once a week about what we're doing in Limon province, Costa Rica, and they balk at a shipping container home, but go out online, especially this site called sheltermode.com. That's S-H-E-L-T-E-R-M-O-D-E.com. You will see some gorgeous shipping container homes. These things are they are, they're top of the line and they're a lot sturdier sometimes than regular homes. So you'll read all about that in this article and it tells you welcome home. Next page, thinking outside and inside the box. That's what you have to do if you're somebody like me that's venturing out and getting property uh, internationally. So this article talks a little bit about what it takes to build a shipping container home and some surprises in this article that you'll see when you get the magazine. Now here's the map. And as you can see right here, I have a larger copy of the map. So right now I'm gonna put the magazine down just for a second and talk about the map right here. Now, here is our first phase in San Clemente, Limon, Costa Rica. There are 17 lots that were available, but right now this lot number one is actually sold. Lot number two is sold. Lot number three 
is sold. Lot number six is sold. And over here, lot number 13. Now, all of them have an ocean view because the ocean is over on this side and it's sloped. So even the people over here and the people over here have an ocean view. Now, the properties are graded in different ways, but if you want to go and see the property, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But these are what we have right here. Our community that we're going to build is going to be a shipping container community that you can get around on golf courts, carts. We're going to have a, a country club type uh, clubhouse in the center of our community. We're also going to, a little bit down the road, have a conference center. So if you have a business where you want to do some retreats, then you can have access to that if you're a homeowner. So these are the ones that are still available and we'll talk about getting there. Oh, let's skip over here. Now, next page, we go specifically into detail. Bottom line, people like me want to know the cost. So I talk about the cost of the land and in the magazine and on this map, every lot has how large it is, how many square meters, and how many acres and then the price is on there so you'll know the price of the land but here we also show a typical home how much a home costs and it can be a little bit less if you want like a one bedroom and a little bit more if you want a larger this example is for a two bedroom and then on the last inner page you have uh meet the visionaries so dr holman and his team put this together they this is just amazing this magazine is amazing i thank them for putting this together you know, they stayed up late, they went in early, they did what it take, what it need, was needed to get it out for you guys on time. So this is about the visionaries. And the final page on the back cover is an article about Marcus Garvey. As I said before, he settled in Lamon, Costa Rica and was doing great things there. And his Liberty Hall, the place that he met, was burned down in 2016. And we're raising funds to get that rebuilt because they still haven't rebuilt it. So T-shirts will be available. We have a trip coming up. It's going to be September 15th through 30th. I'll be there two weeks. If you're going to come, come at least a week so you can get a feel for the culture. Go to the property several times. Pick out your property. All these things. And you, you want to spend a week there so you can get to know the place, get to know the people. Also, I have another surprise for you. We got the T-shirts. We have the magazine coming out. We have the map. And our, our biggest surprise is you're getting ready to see another video. This is an, a video, not me talking, but it's a video showing you what this magazine has. So get ready, fasten your seatbelts, ride along with us on the bullet train to the middle of paradise, Lamon Province, San Clemente, Costa Rica. See you in September. Yeah. Oh, shit.